Sule picked up an injury. Hopefully, it shouldn't be one that will keep him off the pitch for long. But the quality of this particular pitch, which is supposed to be Legon City's home matches, is something we should be talking about. I think that the whole stadia is even, uh, not just the pitch, because you could clearly see that there were broken down um, seats Seeds. and they had to put plastic chairs there for um, people to sit on. The pitch was no good. I wonder how these pitches and these clubs and uh, stadia pass this club license. Because I know when um, Kwame Banya Kustin started, they were very strict, but they seem to have toned down a bit. And it's not good. This is not a good advert for Ghana football. If you are watching TV, you see, the whole experience of um, TV when you are watching the Premiership it's not just the, yeah. the quality of the football, it's also the ambience and the pitch is also part of it. But if you see a potato pitch and the ball is bouncing, and even with this El Wax Stadium, the pole looked tilted. And that's serious. A, a, a club match in Ghana and the goalposts are not even the regular size. It's, it's, it's totally, it doesn't make any sense. Ghana, I mean, we rate them so much, we think that there's a le certain level of discipline and yeah. order. And this is so disorderly from the gun. And I don't know who is supposed to be in charge of the Oak Stadium, but that person should bow his head down in shame for them to leave it to get to this state. It's, it's absolutely not acceptable. I don't know where the army teams now play, whether they play in Burma camp, or, but it's still their facility. I mean, what does it take to get um, stands done? And they have an engineering unit, so it's yeah. not like you're waiting for... Um, government release funds, or uh, you have, they have a whole engineering unit yeah. who can quickly go and fix this thing. So it's just somebody who is clearly sleeping on his job, and it's just unfortunate that the army have to superintend this.